The creator of YBA made a One Piece game and nobody talks about it. Now, for those of you who have no clue what YBA is, this is a JoJo game called Your Bizarre Adventure. It's super popular, and it's developed by somebody named Uzuki. Now, for today's video, I'll be talking about this developer's One Piece game, a game called One Piece Blue, which, in my opinion, is still my favorite One Piece game that i played personally, and one of the best One Piece games of all time that i played. So much so to the point where I literally tried to buy the game, and they would not let me, but I tried. And I'm sure you're already going, Chris, stop glazing, but just watch the video, hear me out, and y'all will understand the peak that was One Piece Blue. See, One Piece Blue wasn't just any regular old One Piece game. I wasn't even gonna make this video at first because I was so sure that at some point I would see some video or some talk about this game somewhere, but I never did. Nobody talks about this game, it's like nobody knows about it or what it was, and that's crazy to me. Anyway, like I was saying, One Piece Blue was not your typical One Piece game. I'm sure when you guys think of One Piece on Roblox, games like maybe Blogs Roots, One Piece Online, even Rel C's come to mind, but I'm not gonna say too much about that one specifically because it's not out yet, but yeah, One Piece Blue was definitely built different. It was not like the rest. I'd say if anything, One Piece Blue was kind of like Rel C's where it's doing something different and it was unique as hell. There were no level 5 thugs or level 15 bandits. There were basically no NPCs in the game. The game was not a band to be. That was one of the main things. And another thing is One Piece Blue focused heavily on gameplay. The game was not going for graphics. They wanted to play good, feel good, pause. It wasn't trying to be flashy as hell and just visually appealing like the majority of games we get today. It wanted to be a good game and it showed that. The game also literally forced the player to go out and explore and it also encouraged PvP heavily. Which which I'm sure it's kind of a turn off for some of y'all watching. I know some of y'all like PvP and others don't, but yeah, you had to. Let me just say, y'all, if you're looking for a simple Bandit Beater One Piece game, One Piece Blue is not the one. So y'all can go ahead and take off the video. If you just want to sit there and beat up thugs, I'm sorry. This game is not for you. Now, progression in One Piece Blue worked like this. There were no levels. The game was not a Bandit Beater. No levels. But like I said, I know half y'all watching just clicked off after I said that because nowadays everybody just wants a simple level system. But One Piece Blue was not that. Instead of levels, the game relied on skill points which you could get by completing mission, assassinations, or transporting money, or even doing simple quests. And before y'all say, Chris, that sounds like a bandit beater, quests were such a small part of the game. When I say small, the whole gameplay was here. Quests might have been down here. Like, quests were not important. You could choose to do them, but they were not the main source of gameplay. In my opinion, every single anime game on Roblox needs to be exactly like that. Quests should be important, but they should not be the only thing you can do to progress. That's just not how games should be. The real way to progress in One Piece Blue was by box. When I say that, I don't say lightly, yo. The best way to progress in this game was straight up killing players. I'm murking other people, you get their bounty as well as skill points and progress way faster than doing quests. I'm telling y'all, PvP was the main source of progression in this game, and that's why I just really loved it. Boxing was everything. And I want y'all to think about actual One Piece. How did Luffy get strong? Did he train? Did he fight people and unlock new skills? Or did he sit there and beat up little five thugs in the same place for three arcs? If y'all actually watched One Piece, this is a real One Piece game. That's why I loved it so much. I remember one time I was sitting there chilling. I think I was exploring an island or something and out of nowhere Infernasu pulls up on me in the middle of the ocean while I'm exploring because he's a fish man and he just starts boxing me and that's literally the best example of One Piece Blue. Wherever you are, people will just pull up to you. It doesn't matter where. You'll get pulled up on if you're in the middle of the ocean, a fish man is going to come swim to your boat and try to kill you. Like you got to be ready to fight. You need to have hands. And another thing that this game did beautifully is through interaction. I want you to look me in my eyes right now. Name one One Piece game that actually made your crew important. But in One Piece Blue, I pretty much spent all my time playing the game with my crew. And I only had like three or four people with me. Me and my crew, my boys, we fought constantly. We fought consistently. We boxed Marines. We boxed Pirates. We boxed other groups everywhere. And it was fun as hell. The game's combat was also super fun and super unique. One thing that I absolutely loved that they did was this weaving mechanic where if you press the button, you had like a little window to then dodge and attack. And if you didn't hit that window perfectly, you would get hit and it leave you wide open. So it was really skill based. It made the combat at that much more fast pace. Speaking of mechanics though, you can tell that this game was made by a developer who actually cared about what he was doing. That boy Uzuki added so many unique mechanics and features. For example, you could slide, slide down hills, so small, but no games do it. You could side attack with various sliding attacks. And that might sound weird, but if I show y'all the video, you guys are gonna understand what I mean by that. You could actually enter the ships that you were riding. When you're on a ship, you could actually go inside of it. And that's such a small detail that I don't know why more games don't do. Like, why can't you actually enter a Grand Piece Online ship? Doesn't make sense. Guns were actually useful this is something where i don't know why more one piece games aren't doing this like if you want to be unique just make an actual one piece game and that, that sounds so crazy to say because it's literally true if you want to make a unique one piece game just make an actual one piece game because nobody's doing it. but yeah it makes no sense why one piece games don't actually do guns literally every single crew on the show had a sniper if people actually cared people would be doing this but nobody does so how skills and like all the different moves
movesets worked in this game was trainers were actually scattered across the map, which means unless you literally moved around from place to place and actually explored, you were not getting a fighting style. I know that other games do this, but with One Piece Blue was a little bit different because you had no information, so you had to explore. Games like GPO, I could just search up a little guy, you know, three sword style trainer, two sword style trainer. Oh, it's here. I gotta do this. No, One Piece Blue. That information was hidden. I love that. Marines had to grip pirates in order to get respect. Pirates had to grip pirates in order to get bounty, which was also a requirement for some skills. Now, another random mechanic that Uzuki just threw in that I actually really liked is players were born with their own height and age. So every year in game, which I guess was their birthday, they actually gained some height and another year on their age, which I thought was a cool system. Now, as far as what ended up happening with this game, I assume that Uzuki closed it to work on your bizarre adventure. Like I said, for those of you who don't know what this game is, this is a really popular jojo game and recently he's been doing a lot more work on it if you guys look at his youtube channel he's been posting way more updates so i assume that he closed this to focus on his main game and there's nothing wrong with that i did try to buy it but they wouldn't let me but i reached out to the community manager and i was like hey man this game is cool would i be able to purchase it and he did decline it i can't be mad at it because it's not my game like they went crazy with it, but I wanted to at least try to save it, and you know, I said no. Now, One Piece Blue was originally a closed community game, but if nothing I've said in this video is making this clear, this game would have definitely thrived as a public game. And we actually got a similar One Piece game in One Piece Second Dawn that released recently, but this game wasn't really as good as One Piece Blue, if I'm being completely honest. I could see that game thriving 100%. If One Piece Second Dawn was averaging 20,000 players on its first day of release, how many players do you guys think that the owner of Your Bizarre Adventure could get on his One Piece game? especially if it was a better game. But yeah, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed. Today's video has been on One Piece Blue. If by some chance the owner of YBA managed to see this video, please bring the game back, man. This was literally my favorite One Piece game. When y'all closed this, I was devastated, and I'm still waiting for it to come back. But yeah, with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that sub button. I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Oh